In today's video, we're gonna build a historically accurate dive bombing mechanism and then put it to the test on our JU87 Stuka dive bomber. Oh, how'd I do? Hey friends, welcome back. We have another project this time around, our awesome Stuka. Now, if you guys remember from our last video, we had an awesome time building this from Missouri, bringing it back here to the shop, finishing it off, and it flew amazing. Now, we didn't ignore your guys' comments. You wanted to see that bomb drop. You wanted to see that siren. In this episode, we're gonna be doing both of that. First thing we need to do, we need to put a bomb drop on this. We need to get a siren. We also need to put some FPV so we can hopefully improve our odds of hitting the target. Now along with the sirens and of course the bomb drop, we want to also recreate the techniques that the Stuka used during war. And the way the Stukas did this is they actually came at a very high altitude. They would see their target on the ground, they would roll slowly over to inverted, and then they'd go down about a 70 degree angle with air brakes and sirens blaring, and at the very last moment they'd drop the bombs and pull out at the very bottom. Now this isn't a typical bomb release. This actually has some engineering that we're gonna have to do to get the bombs away from the propellers the same way the Stuka's used. So we gotta design that bomb mechanism, we gotta get the siren on, and we gotta get to work. So the Stuka bomb drop is actually a really interesting bomb drop. It doesn't actually just drop the bombs, it actually flings it off the plane. Now the reason for that was that way it, the bomb actually didn't hit the prop. Now we have to replicate this for our model and what we're gonna do is we're gonna 3D print some pieces, use some carbon fiber rod, and possibly even make a helmet Made spring. So the first thing that we did was we designed these 3D printed parts to act as hinges for our bomb mechanism. Now we're going to use those 3D printed parts and a little bit of carbon fiber rod to actually make the frame of the bomb drop. After that what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our actual landing gear and bend it around the carbon fiber rod to actually make a spring. And that spring hopefully will help us fling the bomb forward and off the plane. So this is a little bit different than our normal bomb drop and I'm feeling pretty good about how it's turning out. All right guys, before we get any closer to dropping these bombs, I wanted to take this time to tell you about our sponsor who made this video as well as this entire Stuka series possible, and that is our friends over at War Thunder. Now, for those of you guys who aren't familiar, War Thunder is an online multiplayer vehicle combat game, specifically military vehicle combat game, that can be played virtually on any system. Doesn't matter if you have a console or a PC, uh, it works on Xbox, PlayStation, both the new gen and the old gens, uh, as well as PC. Um, and the best part about all of that is it's also cross-play so you can play with any of your friends it doesn't matter what system they're running the game on which is awesome and to top it all off war thunder is completely free to play so whatever system you have you have no excuse you can go out and you can download it and play it for free right now which is pretty awesome and the cool thing about war thunder is it's not just airplanes you can actually use airplanes tanks or battleships specifically right now is a better time than ever to check it out because they just came out with a massive update uh, they call it an update but this is like basically a whole new game so the new update is called new power and with that update they celebrate their eighth anniversary with 34 million players so there's no shortage of people to go to battle with online when you're playing war thunder now with this new update it has a whole list of different things that they upgraded in the game but the main one that you'll notice right off the bat is the new game engine. It's called the Dagor 6.0 and basically it brings the graphics of War Thunder up to today's AAA standards. Specifically it's got new global illumination featuring ray tracing so if you have the new RTX cards on your PC it's going to be able to utilize that new technology. It's got new cloud rendering so just the weather and the overall atmosphere just looks more realistic. It also has a new effect render which vastly improves things like smoke and other fine details that really kind of get you immersed in the battle. Now beyond that, in terms of gameplay, they also completely revamped the naval tree, allowing player to control even bigger ships earlier in the game. So you don't have to grind as much to unlock those bigger ships, which is pretty cool. And they also added a new battle pass and season system, like a lot of online games are doing these days. And it's a cool way to keep it interesting and you can unlock unique rewards by simply playing the game. And that's anything from vehicles to camouflages, titles, and, and a lot of other things. The coolest thing in my opinion is the interactive hangar. This is where you kind of come back to between battles and hang out. You can view and inspect your aircraft, you can modify them, you can change your crews, and they completely revamped the entire graphics of this and it looks incredible. So the best part about all of this, like I said earlier, is the game is free. So there's really no reason not to check it out right now. You can check out our link below by using that link. It helps us out to make these videos for you guys and you guys also get a free game to play. So honestly, it's a win-win. Check out the link in the description below 
to download War Thunder with the new update. Highly recommend it and a huge shout out to War Thunder for sponsoring this build project. Both this video and the last video were brought to you by War Thunder and it wouldn't be possible without sponsors like them. So thank you so much and let's get back to the project and see how it's coming. So we finally got the bomb drop on the plane and it's looking great. Now it turns out that the homemade spring that we made is going to have a lot of power to fling that bomb off the plane. So while working with this bomb drop, I've been pulling it back and releasing it and this thing has so much power, I think it's going to have plenty of oomph to get these bombs off the plane. And on top of that, we're actually working on GoPro mounts to put in the bombs. The reason for this is that way you guys can see the view of the bomb. Now the second reason that we're putting GoPros in these bombs is that way we can actually see who gets the closest to the actual target that we're dropping it on. I'm a little nervous because I did sink these GoPros back into the bombs, but I don't know if that's going to be enough to protect but at least we're gonna get some cool footage. Now one of the main features we really want to get right is that crazy Jericho horn, that Jericho trumpet that was on the Stuka. Now for this, I was gonna actually 3D print something like a, a siren. There's lots of really cool designs out on Thingiverse, but as I was looking at them, they all weren't that loud and they also weren't small enough to really kind of give the scale appearance, but also the noise that we needed. So we ordered a couple different sirens here to see which one was gonna fit the best. We had a couple different options. We could install inside or we could actually make it a scale detail. <laughs> Alright, messing up the golfer swings in three, two, one. I think that's fantastic! Now, these work off at 12 volts, which is really great for our three cell batteries. We're really excited about the way that the smaller siren looked and also the way it fit in and gave that real scale detail. So we painted it up and we also painted some extra bombs here and added a little bit of scale detail so she's all ready to fly. All right, so everything's set up. It is cold. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is freezing cold, and but a beautiful day at the same time. Alex is gonna position me. This time we kinda gotta take off in a different direction, so I won't have the hill working in my benefit. And the goals are pretty simple here. Noah and I both have a bomb. I'm the Bixie bomb. You're the Ginger Boom. Yep. And our goal will be to do a historically accurate dive bomb. Now you guys have had in the comments so many different times on pointers on how to get a more scale dive bomb. From what I understand with the Stuka, we're gonna come in at high altitude, we're gonna roll it inverted, come down at a 70 degree angle, get our target in view, release the bomb at the last minute and pull out at low level. So that'll be our goal and this time the target is our ready-made pavilion. So if we hit it, sorry ready-made, but at the same time it's gonna make the coolest kaboing ever because it's a metal building. So we're gonna try to hit the building. Our cars are over there. We're a safe distance. I think the only thing to do is ascend it. Let's do it. Alrighty. All right, you guys ready? How are you feeling about this? Scared to death, but excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the same thing. There's always so much anxiety. Well, All right. whatever happens, just remember I'm gonna film it. Okay, deal, <laughs> deal. You guys ready? Yeah, here we go. All right, get us in the air here. Okay, here we go. Woo. All right, that was good and uneventful. I like uneventful. It looks great. It flies great. We got really trimmed in well here. All right, before I go high, Alex, what do you say I do a flyby? Look at that in the sun. I can't see it in the sun. <laughs> Alex, what do you say I do a flyby and we test out that siren first? Okay, yeah, yeah, I like that. That's gonna be awesome. All right, first thing we'll do it up here high. Yes! Oh, you can hear it! Oh my gosh, that had to have been terrifying. <laughs> All right, practice dive. <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> you guys wanted siren, we got sirens. It totally makes sense why they did that back in the day because that would be terrifying to hear that coming All right. at you. Noah, I need your help, buddy. I need some goggles. Okay. I'm going to climb up the altitude here. Now, it is cold. Our batteries are yeah. cold. Everything is cold. Yeah, you want to get that thing dropped ASAP because I'm watching my battery voltage and it just is sinking. Ready? Yep. All it's right. below freezing pretty easily. Okay, I'm going to flip this through. All okay. right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm still climbing for altitude. Oh, there you are. Are you under the hood? Yes, I am, sir. I can tell by your flying style, it changes. It does it? Yeah. All right, tell me when I'm passed over the, uh, the driveway here. Uh, hard to tell, we're like, uh, right about there. All right, here, be a heck of a here we go, rolling. Oh, I'm gonna be. I'm going right towards us. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're good. 
That looked amazing though. Terrifying. All right, I think I know where I am now. Ready? Rolling. I got the target. Was that close? Yeah, it was real close. You were in the tree right next to it. <laughs> All right, well, you know, it's still one piece. Let's get this thing down so Noah can take a whack at it. Yeah, I'd say closest bomb to the target is the winner. Okay, deal. There go, looking good. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> no, we there. got it! Okay, yeah. where'd I hit? You hit the tree. I hit the tree. Yeah. You know, in my argument though, the blast radius around here. It would've got it. Yeah, we it would've, would've got it. Yeah, plus that tree's a jerk anyways. He deserved it. Kills all of our good plants. All right, so we didn't get the, the awesome Kerplunk. And also, I didn't. don't think I got the angle. Uh, yeah. No, I'm counting on you to really get over um, this. I'll, yeah. I'll try to help you with like, okay, turn now. Yeah. Cause that's a lot harder because you, you can't be a, cock, a pilot you looking can, around. Can't really look around, yeah. To see where we're gonna hit. We're gonna reload. Noah, it's your turn. Yep. And. <laughs> That was so much fun. That was was dude, it looked amazing. Your maneuver was real nice. That was it good? Yeah. It, it was so much fun. It felt just like in War Thunder when yeah. you roll over and then you see your target and you're like, all righty, all right. But you were right. The wind was going this way. It blew me that way. Yeah. So I need to go more this way. You need to favor this side of the building. That okay. was so cool. Okay. Round two. Let's do it. All right. So we just realized here, <laughs> we tried the siren out. That was cool. I turned the siren off and then I never turned the siren back on. <laughs> so we didn't get the iconic. <laughs> You just, I mean, you were just, you had your own uh, dive bombing style. You do a nice low pass, get that siren going, just to let everybody know <laughs> what's, what they got coming. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Josh, I want to be your friend. Gonna, gonna turn the siren on. And coming. Yeah, something really cool in a second. Gonna, gonna, you know, bomb you. <laughs> I can't believe. The siren did sound good though. It sounded awesome. All right, so Noah's up. Noah is up. We are still recording. Noah, are you ready, man? How you feel? Woo, cold, but good. It is cold. We're good. Okay, so Noah, just keep that tail planted. Once you get off, get speed and then climb up nice and slow. Good luck, buddy. Get her above yep. that tree, yeah, buddy. That's the tallest tree. That's nice. <laughs> that was full throttle. Yeah, yeah, we got She cold. doesn't do anything fast, bud. No. Cold, cold bats, big planes. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. It looks amazing. Flies great though. Alrighty, uh, Josh, if you want to help him get his goggles on. Alrighty. Noah, are you stable for a second, bud? Yeah. I'm just gonna de-hat you. Ready? Three, two, three. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> We made that way more complicated than it ever needed to be. I couldn't see anything. I could see you guys just... finagling over there. All right. All righty, Noah. You ready to set up an approach? Yep. Uh, right. And I throttle back, by the way, when I roll in, inverted. So. So if I roll right now. Now you're. You need to do a want do 180 degrees. Oh, I think I see it. Okay. Now go. Nope. You're gonna go out towards the neighbors if you do that. So right. go ahead and turn around 180 degrees. And when I say roll, roll. Keep turning to the right, turn to the right, turn to the right. Level out, roll upside down. <laughs> I want to say you lost the wing tip. I think that I, was air in my aircraft guns. Yeah, I think you what got the hit. wings still flowing down. <laughs> Wait a wing. Well, I really wish you guys had an expert out the camera because I don't know how much of that we caught. I, we got it. I got it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> like you got it. Holy cow! Well, there is no round two. You know what it was? It was a siren. What? No, no, no. Seriously, I need. 
Did I lose a wing tip or something? Lost because the wing. Yeah, you just, folded. All right, so the center section of the wings held up really good. When I saw him pull out, did you throw out a back, by the way? Yes, I did. Okay. I was all I was all the way back. I, I built it out to about this far from the wing tips with the spar. This far of the wing went like this, <laughs> and that was the end of did, that. Did I pull up too hard? Huh? Did I pull up too hard? Because I, don't know. I dropped the bomb and I just literally gave it just a little bit, <laughs> and then all I see is. <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, not again, not the zero. Oh my gosh, did that thing come apart? All right, let's go check it out. All right, oh. well, first of all, look, I think he won. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's go check out the bomb. <laughs> all right, so the important thing we got to know is did this record? It, it recorded. No, by the way, nice design. Thanks. We got recording. Cool. Nice. All right, so that's good. I think he definitely won because look at the trajectory he was at. By the way, community, thank you so much for the advice because this definitely helped our accuracy issues big time. Yeah. All right, should we go over and... <laughs> yeah, let's check it out. The oh, sad thing is... He went down a legend. Oh, my. Every time, every time I was like, guys, we are going to hang this up right at the front. We're going to hook the siren up to a remote button. We're going to have so much fun with this. We're not hanging this up anymore. No. Look at the they, pieces they this thing it, is in. What happened is you let a ginger fly. I've never seen such oh, carnage in my oh, life. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh my. Just look at oh, that. Oh, I actually broke the wood prop. Oh. Which way was I coming? This? You were like. Straight down. <laughs> no, you're starting to build a reputation for yourself here. <laughs> Apparently, first the Zero, then then the Corsair, oh. and now this. Wow. Well, the Zero was just right over there, not too far, and the Corsair was right over there. We should put little tombstones out here. <laughs> I'm amazed at Look how good this landing gear looks. <laughs> this is the amazingness of fiberglass, guys. That's incredible. Well, Noah, high five. You won. And uh, we <laughs> lost. <laughs> the plane lost. Oh my. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being part of the Philly Test family. Thank you also for your suggestions. You wanted sirens, you wanted the bomb drop, we got it. Please keep those comments, keep those ideas coming. And also, huge shout out for War Thunder. War Thunder keeps partnering with us to do crazy ideas like this. So thank you, War Thunder. Thank you guys for being part of the family. We'll see you next time.